my schedule and my mood is a little bit thrown off, but we move. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey. Now, of course, now that October and grabbed all of her belongings and got the hell up out of here, needless to say, it is time for me to go ahead and share my top five favorite fragrances for the month. But before we get into today's video, of course, make sure that you are subscribed and make sure you hit that notification bell, boo, so you don't miss when I upload another video. After subscribing and making sure your post notifications are set to all, also make sure you give the video a big fat thumbs up because it's free. It really helps support the channel and helps us to grow. And never forget, if you are interested in any of the fragrances mentioned in today's video, to shop via any available links and or discount codes down below in the description box because it really helps support the channel and you go buy it anyway. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Before we jump into the favorites, I do want to mention my scent of the day. I actually just put this one when I filmed the video before this one. This is absolutely no stranger to the channel. And because I love it so much, don't talk about the dent. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this is Donna Karen's Cashmere and Palo Santo. This made its original debut, I want to say, in May. And yes, yes, I'm still wearing her, okay? I am honestly considering a backup bottle, um, especially right now that we're getting into holiday season. This is on sale. I'll have it linked down below in case you're interested. Definitely a more woody centered fragrance, but a woody fragrance that has some fruity and vanillic nuance to it. Ugh, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Don't even know why I put this on my fragrance tray for the month because I do not have a problem reaching for this. As we can see, this is still very much cracked to me all these months later. But I think I'm coming to terms with the fact that this may, this may be my signature fall scent. And so if fall actually finally comes to us I do want to have this at the ready and I'm wearing it today while I am working from home <laughs> and filming these videos for you guys so yeah today's scent of the day is my fave Donna Karen's Cashmere and Palo Santo. Diving in to the favorites coming in at number five for the month I have to give it to Victor and Roth's Flower Bomb Nectar Again, <laughs> no stranger to the channel. We just talked about this one in my Sephora recommendations video. And mm, mm, mm. damn, that smells so good. Flower Bomb Nectar is, you know, the beloved white floral patchouli flower bomb DNA. Yes? No! No, it's not. It takes that DNA to a whole nother level. Flower Bomb Nectar, to me, is the best flower bomb flanker and honestly it outranks the original flower bomb to me this gives flower bomb so you get that really sophisticated feminine white floral in conjunction with that super sweet vanilla that resinous benzoin which really makes it really weighty and dense that patchouli makes this extremely sophisticated and sexy and makes it last for all eternity. Now, that doesn't sound especially unique, especially when we're talking about a designer fragrance DNA, right? But this is exceptionally unique to me, my nose, my skin, and my clothes because of some gunpowder. That gunpowder adds a cold, metallic facet to this fragrance that also makes it extremely sophisticated and just so sexy. I swear that gunpowder just makes it better yes but also it makes it unique to me like i told you all this definitely garners compliments especially with the men folk there's just nothing else i can say about this one definitely one i recommend getting your nose on especially if you're in the market for a really feminine sophisticated sexy unique fragrance so yes number five for the month of october has to go to flower bomb nectar from victor and rolf now number four for the month is actually a decant and this is the little <laughs> the little bag I had my decants and when I travel to Boston get the damn decant out the bag and stay focused <laughs> number four for the month is Gris Charnel I don't know why I'm bothering to show you this this is a decant sent over to me from Denise Adore my vampire queen we just talked about this one in my weekly roundup video but quick recap this is so damn good y'all and I'm not gonna lie this this is probably going to be my next BDK edition. This opens with some fig, which gives it a fruitiness, but in a somewhat green way. So don't expect this to be, you know, a super sweet, girly fig. In fact, this fragrance to me is perfectly unisex. 
there's also some spicy woodiness going on in here. I'm not sure of the notes, but this fragrance just gives melancholy. It gives moody. It gives seasonal depression, which is probably why I was reaching for it a bunch this month. I feel like the woodiness grounds the fragrance and gives it some weight without making it too heavy. And it also adds like a powderiness to this fragrance as well. I just feel like this is one of those fragrances that I know will smell good without having to think too hard. This is one that I wore to relax. This is one that I wore to travel. Simple, easy, casual situation like that. <sighs> Y'all have to cut the grass right now. I just found Gris Chanel to be perfect for the wacko weather we're experiencing. Quite frankly, it just matched how moody I felt in October. So definitely another unique and complex fragrance, I would say, from the House of BDK that I would recommend getting your nose on. Just with the decant, I find that this has a moderate projection for a significant portion of the day. But I would definitely continue spending time with this fragrance. I actually have another decant that Vanilla McCall, my scent sister, sent to me that I'll continue spending time with before I decide to, you know, jump out the window and get a full size bottle but number four for the month of October has to go to BDK's Grisha now. Now number three for the month of October has to go to Commodity Milk Expressive. Commodity did send this over to me and I have been loving it this month. I've been reaching for this a whole lot especially when it is time for bed but make no mistake Commodity Milk Expressive has been outside a whole lot this month by itself, layered with other fragrances. Uh, yes, Commodity Milk Expressive does have a milk note in it. There is a creamy, lactonic, milky, you know, facet to this. But to me, the main stars are absolutely the marshmallow and that kind of smoky woodiness that I get from this fragrance. It's giving s'more, you know what I'm saying? But without the graham cracker and the chocolate. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Smoky, but not too smoky. Woody, but not too woody. I feel like this is a perfectly balanced vanilla that I can actually respect, that performs, that projects, that lasts, that layers well. It's an easy reach, especially for this wacko weather. Yet again, I feel like vanilla fragrances especially can work all year round, especially when it's one that's not too sweet or, you know, not too heavy like this one. And as this continues to develop and sit in my collection, I am finding that the longevity is getting better. But I do overspray though. Do I, I do overspray? I'm not gonna lie about that. And honestly, with this having like a musky facet to it this doesn't smell the same on paper as it does on skin it's it's even better on my skin even sweeter and just just sexy okay it's perfect for fall but honestly I can wear this all year round this one ounce bottle did come in a gift set with milk bold and milk personal this one ounce is plenty for me considering the size of my collection at this point but they do have the 100 mil option of this if you are interested I'll make sure I have links and all of that information down below but number three for the month absolutely goes to commodity milk expressive things are starting to get spooky moving on to number two for the month of October has to go to YSL's Libre Le Parfum. Y'all see my little dance? Okay, listen, me and Libre Le Parfum have been getting to know each other, okay? I have been spraying this a lot this month. I took this with me to Boston too. I didn't really wear it in Boston, but it came along with me. As soon as I spray this, I get a little brightness and a little kick from some bergamot and some ginger. Definitely gives a little tickle to my nose and I'll be honest if you go crazy with the sprays it's definitely gonna make you sneeze but regardless we have that YSL DNA with that orange blossom vanilla that lavender and all of that is still there there is an aromatic facet there's a sweetness there's a, a floral feminine sophisticated facet to this but it's even better it's even better there's some honey and some saffron added to this that, in my opinion, elevates this and makes it smell even more opulent as to the longevity. And to me, just makes it different from the typical designer fragrance DNA. It's just grown and sexy. 
and honestly it's been somewhat of a signature scent for me this fall already as well outside of this just smelling amazing this fragrance also has sentimental value to me this month because i actually wore this the day that i went to vote i voted early this was not my election day fragrance but this was the fragrance that i wore to actually go vote and a young lady actually did compliment me and asked me what i was wearing when i wore this at the polling place so although the election didn't necessarily go as i would have liked at least something good came out of it girl i guess so definitely recommend getting your nose on this one if you haven't but number two for the month has to go to why sells leave the perfume before we get to number one for the month of october keeping up with our newfound tradition of sharing a not so favorite for the month as well I have to give this month to Parfums de Marley's Off There, Off There, however you pronounce this. I will probably try to insert a picture of the bottle if I feel up to it, editing Alexis. <laughs> we'll see, but if not, I am sure that you all have seen this before. This is very popular, especially this time of year, because you all love vanilla fragrances. But unfortunately for me, this one, this one wasn't a, uh, a home run, at least, at least not to start. I was talking to you all about this in my weekly roundup video. Of course, if you haven't seen it, it is linked up top. When I first spray this, I'm getting that citrus, that cinnamon, and I think there's some orange blossom, some type of white floral, and maybe, maybe that's what's giving me the headache. I'm not sure. Along with some vanilla, a little woodiness. You all may remember when I told you all I was testing this out that it is, you know, a warm, spicy, perfectly unisex vanilla. And I stand by that. But I also told you all that there is something in this that just smells off. There's something synthetic almost kind of plasticky to my nose on the strip for sure but also does this on skin that that just doesn't work for me i don't know what it is now one of you mentioned in my comments that the orange blossom is what did it in for you when it comes to all there and you have to layer it you know to offset the orange blossom but at these price points i don't feel like i should have to do that you know what i'm saying I also feel like I need to give this grace because one, vanilla, I'm not necessarily your target audience. And two, the weather has been all over the place, much like my life. But that's neither here nor there. The point being, I don't necessarily hate this, but I, I don't understand the hype, at least not yet. So like I said, I will definitely get back to you all on my fully formed thoughts once I actually wear this when it's like cold for real for real because maybe maybe this is just not a good time for me to wear it and one that I need to play around with. At least for now, Althair, Althair, however you pronounce it, is not one that I foresee myself upgrading to a full size bottle but stand by on you know whether or not things change in the winter but my not so favorite for the month of october has to go to parfum some barley out there number one for the month of october hands down has to go to the beloved the recently resurrected <laughs> kaali the wedding collection silk santal 36 Number one from Kayali. I'm gonna say it every time. I just want to make mention that this, this is my second bottle, okay? I was able to luck up during the first restock last year, which is why my juice is so dark, but God is good. This has been brought back to life. It's permanent in the collection and we don't have to stress and savor our sprays anymore. And I love that for us. This, while simple, is the best fragrance that I have experienced thus far from Kaali and it only gets better with time. It's bubbly and fruity, it's floral, it's sweet. This is a perfect feminine fragrance and it's romantic, which is probably why it's, you know, the wedding fragrance. <laughs> I wore this by itself. I wore this layered with another fave, Mon Guerlain got compliments hopefully this one will be made into a 100 mil now that it's permanent you know what i'm saying note to mona this is a moderate projection so it's not at all a loud beast mode room filling fragrance but it still lingers in the air and leaves the most beautiful scent trail 
even outside yes folks i have gotten compliments on this outside well after i don't walk past somebody okay so so glad that mona got herself together and gave the people what they wanted by making this permanent i'm people certified love at first sniff absolutely a 10 out of 10 will highly recommend number one for the month of october goes to kiali's the wedding silk santal 36. well folks that about wraps up my top five favorite fragrances for the month of october definitely sound off in the comments and let me know your top five favorite fragrances and let me know your thoughts about the fragrances shared in today's video if you've tried them or if you're interested in trying them of course if you are interested in trying them please please shop via any available links and or discount codes down down below in the description box because it really helps me out on your way to watching another video of mine please make sure that you like share and subscribe thank you all so 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 much for watching please 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 be safe and i'll catch you in the next one damn i smell good i can be your shelter you got one life left inside of you for the month of september that's not September, girl. You got too much on your plate. It's a little petty, but I'm just going to show it at the end. Get this ginormous package that finally sent over. How adorable. Make it enough. Make it enough. Make it enough.